Doesn't look like much. We'll do, we'll do a little bit with the looks before we carry on, um, but not much. We'll do just a tiny bit here. Let's at least get a non-default font here. So go out to good old Google Fonts. Find one you like. Um, the one I liked for this one was Railway. That is R-A-L-E. Rail. I like this one. So I'm going to add that. And this time, I'm actually, I want the bold version too. So once I've selected the font, I'm going to go over to Customize here and also put the checkbox next to bold 700. And instead of using a link tag, which you totally could, and put it inside index.html, um, I'm instead just going to import it into my style sheet. So click on import here, and you'll get this at import line. And I will just put that inside app.css, which is currently empty. Just put that in line one. And then I'll make one very simple CSS rule that targets the body. You can target body just like any other element. And I'll put what they put right here, font family, railway, comma sans serif, meaning it'll use railway if that font has loaded. Otherwise, it will just use a default sans serif font. If you want to use the same font as me, I'm going to stick my CSS in Slack here. It looks nice. Um, depending on the resolution of your screen, they can be a little harder to read at small sizes. Okay. If you have like a retina display or something simil of similar density, then that's less of a problem. Okay. And it just looks a tiny, tiny bit different. Go us. Add railway font from Google Fonts. 